Hello, in the following video I would like to show you how to connect the photo sensor to the timer. So in the uh, uh, latest version we added the functionality where you can connect the photo sensor like this directly to the timer and use it as a trigger. So what can you do with it? So you can trigger the output based on the lighting condition. For example, you can turn the light on when the sun goes down. Uh, and uh, turn it off when this is when the, at the uh, sunrise. So you can turn it on for a couple hours and then turn it off. So all the functions uh, are going to work. Uh, so all, all the functions uh, of the timer can be used. This basically acts as the trigger. So I'm just going to show you a couple uh, examples. For example, uh, function 10. If we use the function 10 and set the trigger uh, to the sound down then at that uh, and uh, we will set the t1 and t2 to very short time so at the sound down it will trigger the output and it will be on until the sun rise and it will turn off uh, option 14 single shot you can turn the output on with a uh, sunset uh, for a period of time. For example, you want to light to stay on for four hours. But basically, all the functions are going to work, so you can make it. Uh, you can make it flash. Uh, you can make. You know, you use all other functions. Uh, basically, photo cell is uh, used as the trigger now. Uh, the connection is very simple. So if you use a specific photo sensor, we connect it directly to the timer. The connection is uh, pretty simple. But basically, we'll take a a photo sensor, connect the long uh, wire connector to the ground, to the black wire, and a short one directly to the blue, to the trigger wire, and just program it. So I'm gonna just program it right now. Let's uh, do programming to a uh, function 10. Okay, so I have the a simple circuit here. It's basically a little. Uh, prototype but the connections are all the same the blue wire connected to the sensor and then uh, green and white wires are configuration so let's uh, let's configure it so I'm gonna connect those two wires to the ground turn the power on output comes on for a couple seconds so we're gonna set the time t1 two seconds green to two seconds so this is a function 10 where we set t1 and t2 connected to the ground to go to next menu next menu is the functionality is a function so time function 10 right so we use the white wire connected 10 times to the ground one so connected 10 times and then the trigger function will set it to uh, 11. So you can use the 10 and 11, uh, those uh, specific trigger functions for the, uh, for the sensor. So again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then we connect it to the ground again. Next step is the measurement duration. Uh, this is how long the sensor is going to be uh, measured the, uh, the light. So if you want very sensitive uh, circuit, you set it to a very short time, let's say a second. If you want, uh, for example, for the uh, outside lighting uh, circuit, you probably want to for the sensor to have the threshold of a couple minutes so it measures the lighting conditions for a couple minutes before it uh, triggers the light on or the or the light off otherwise if it's very sensitive uh, during the sunset where that uh, trigger uh, trigger line is uh, for the lighting condition it you'll you might see the light comes on and off a couple times all right so we're going to set it for a short time so hold the white wire for Two seconds or one second okay and green wire is outdoor or indoor light so outdoors one outdoors two so I'm gonna touch it uh, 
once, twice, and we're going back to next to output. I don't need to set it because it's set from the factory to a normal, but I'm just going to set it to a normal white wire and uh, timing programming mode. Uh, so I go to next menu and then uh, white wire to set it to the normal mode. And that's it. Okay. Okay, so we configured the timer. Let's uh, test it now. So with the light on, uh, with the outside lights on, the lights, uh, the output is off. And if I cover it, so I'm going to put this plastic box and cover it with my finger on and off. So basically with no light, it will trigger. The, the sensor is pretty, very sensitive. So if we just cover it with my fingers, it's not enough. It still have enough light coming through my fingers and through the holes in my fingers. I can put it in the palms like that and it should be enough to cover it, yep. All those holes allows for the light to come in, okay. So here it is, here's uh, how it works, and you can use uh, all the functions uh, of the timer with this sensor. Now the sensor could be mounted uh, anywhere, it's pretty small, so you can drill a hole and stick it through the hole. You can you also use the lenses like this, and I'll post the part number in a manual. Um, and with this lens, you can, you know, if you have a piece of whatever, plastic, metal, you basically drill a hole, you put this uh, cap through, and it has those uh, grooves to actually be, uh, to hold in the thing so it will look like like this and basically you would stick the sensor in it and maybe apply some the hot glue or something to keep it in or some other glue and you can use it like that also uh, so here it is uh, here's how you connect the sensor and uh, extend the functionality of the timer all right thank you so much